This is Donna with More Than a Review, and we are in Nashville at the CBA Unite Conference, and I'm here um, with Jim, is it Atrell? Atrell. 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 Okay, and um, we're going to ask him a few questions about his book, Directions, and then let him tell a little bit about himself. So I'll let you start it out and tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, well, I was born in Canada, uh, spent 30 years there, moved to Texas uh, at age 30, and, and have been there for 38 years. So I consider myself uh, not only an American, <laughs> which I became in 1993, but uh, I'm, uh, I'm you can't take Canadian citizenship away, they won't let you. Uh, but I have five kids, uh, 10 grandkids, and one great grandchild. Wow, goodness, that's big family. <laughs> um, so tell us a little bit about um, your book directions. Well, um, I wrote directions knowing that there was going to be future generations that I would never meet that would wonder where they came from and who they are. I don't know about you, but I always had those those questions, and, and so I wanted um, to uh, to uh, give them some with some of my wisdom, whatever I have, and some direction uh, in their life. One of my favorite. Uh, stories uh, was as was about my family in the early 1900s came to Canada, uh, part of my family, and uh, they had 12 kids, and the father died in the St. Lawrence River in Quebec, and, and can you imagine being a single mom with a dozen kids, no farm, farming experience, and you're landing in a, in a strange country, and I mean it just made, uh, it, it was a little snapshot of the past, and, and there, I, I don't have a lot of that, so I wanted to have something more than that um, uh, for a future person descendant, uh, a young person uh, I, I was imagining as I wrote the book who was kind of uh, curious and would want to know more about their family and where they came from and, and their roots. That's awesome. So what do you want other readers to get out of the book? Um, well, uh, an understanding of what makes the earth uh, tick. Um, I've traveled all over the world and, uh, uh, and how to overcome life challenges as they came along based on how I overcame them in a peaceful and productive uh, way that makes you feel good about uh, yourself. Um, my uh, eldest daughter, uh, uh, when we lived in Houston, uh, she was 16, asked me to go to the Winter Olympics in Calgary, Canada and work there. My sister who lived there agreed to take her in. My sister called me up uh, after a week or two and said, did you know she's pregnant? I said, no, I had no idea that, she, that she's pregnant. Well, she gave that um, uh, baby up for adoption. So fast forward 30 years later, uh, I have helped her through uh, through school. Uh, she's uh, went through, uh, became a psychologist after four years of school, and then went to law school, and, and that is now a legal assistant. She's got a, a great job. Uh, She's married, and uh, and so now the baby buttons hit. So I'm looking forward to becoming a great grandfather uh, once again. So that's basically what I hope readers get out of this book yeah. is uh, with my experiences and helping others and education. That's that's what this world is all about, I think. Wow. So what was your hardest chapter to write? Probably the one about uh, my bankruptcy. Uh, going through that, it was very difficult. I kind of wipe out the memories that, that I <laughs> that I don't like, and, yeah. and uh, it um, uh, I, I didn't do a real good job with my my children uh, going through that. Uh, but it was uh, it was very difficult, and uh, uh, I, I wouldn't wish that on anybody else. But in a lot of ways, that made me a better person, a stronger person, and um, I, I learned a lot going through that. I could appreciate hardship yeah. today yeah. that I couldn't appreciate back then. Yeah. Um, so of um, all of your achievements, because um, you've done a lot, I saw your bio, so um, what are you um, the most proud of? Well, I worked hard for 50 years and I was able uh, to um, today, uh, well in the, in the past uh, 20 years, help my children, my grandchildren uh, to advance their education past just high school. And I'm proudest that, uh, of, of that, to see them um, uh, discover their talents and to learn what they're good at and then they get a, a great job and enjoy their, their work. Uh, that's pretty special to me. I, I get a big kick out of that. And uh, Discovering the talents is, is a hard thing. God gives us all special gifts and discovering those is real hard sometimes and making a living uh, <laughs> yeah. out of that is even harder but uh, uh, that's what I'm proudest of the, just being able to help family and uh, friends too. Yeah. Wow.
was good. Um, so tell us a little bit about your plans for the future. Well, um, right now I'm almost finished building a ranch retreat uh, that will accommodate about 40 people. It includes a lake. Uh, it's a facility designed to uh, support uh, the, uh, uh, the efforts of our church, uh, uh, charitable organizations that my wife and I uh, support. Uh, we have Texas Parks and Wildlife events out there for outdoor family education, teaching kids how to start a fire, how to fish. It amazes me how you know, 10, 12, 14 year old kids have never fished before. And it's so Only special. on a video game. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so special to you know, watch them catch a, a fish uh, full time. But my, uh, my favorite part of the ranch is the porch and overlooking the lake. I uh, love that. Uh, second favorite part, the 14 foot slide. Oh, wow. I don't participate in that one. Uh, I stay away from that one, but uh, watching the kids have fun uh, on that is, is pretty special. And the wildlife, uh, is a wild, we have a wildlife exemption, tons of birds and deer. That's cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, what would be um, something memorable you've heard um, from readers or fans? Well, uh, I guess uh, that uh, they've learned uh, from me uh, and been inspired by me, uh, which I think is pretty special, to, to uh, go ahead and realize the dream they've always had to go and travel somewhere. So they don't necessarily want to go where I've been, but they've always wanted to go to somewhere and they've realized they got to do that now. Put everything aside, just we'll take care of it. There's so much to learn out there. And, and uh, every country I went to, every guide that I had, I just, I'm a, I'm a real fan of, uh, of, of uh, learning about water and how important it is to, uh, uh, and that's part of my, my book, you know, if you read it, it's, uh, there's a lot, a lot in there about, um, about it. Okay, all right. Um, what is something that um, readers would be surprised to know about you? Probably that I visited all seven continents, uh, actually eight County, Texas, <laughs> if you want to count that one. Uh, and that uh, I've been to every NHL hockey rink in Canada and America. And I have a hockey puck from every one of those rinks. Oh my goodness. So coming from Canada, I'm a little bit of a hockey fan. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> and, I'm a, and I'm a pretty good photographer too. Oh, that's yeah. good. Wow. That is all the continents. So like, was your dream growing up to always travel? Like, did you always? Uh, not to travel, but to, for example, I always wanted to, uh, and dreamt about this, to be on the beach of the Antarctic with a penguin oh. and get a picture, and, and that's in my book. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, a picture of me with a penguin in the Antarctic, that yeah, really, yeah, really did happen. So it wasn't necessarily traveling that I was interested in specific things I wanted to do. Okay. For example, I wanted to go to Mount Everest, but I didn't want to climb it. Yeah. I just wanted to go to the base camp, and I did that. I always wanted to cat go to Kathmandu, you know, and, and I did that. I always wanted to go to Japan, and I did that. I always uh, uh, wanted to travel to Sydney, Australia, and, and I heard a lot about that, and I did that. So I fulfilled all my, my goals. My, so of all the places, like if somebody could only travel to one, um, which one would you recommend? I used to say the Antarctic was the most incredible place I'd ever been. I was with uh, scientists um, on a, uh, uh, this wasn't a cruise ship, this, this was a, a, a true icebreaker. Yeah, and I was with scientists who were down there with a purpose. We were uh, trying to figure out why the uh, type A killer whale was traveling further and further south to, to feed. So I was a part of all that, and, and uh, now, now I forgot your question. But uh, where, what one place would you oh, say? And you were then I went to Africa on a photographic excursion, National Geographic, and uh, that was amazing. I, I wasn't in the parks; I was in the wildlife, the, you know, the private reserves, taking pictures and photographs, and you know, ten feet away from a lion. Uh, it was it was pretty special, but. Of all the places that uh, I said I'd like to go back to is Sydney, Australia, and I'm going to realize that in January. I'm going with my brother and sister uh, for the fireworks. Uh, it's, it's beautiful in Sydney Harbour there, and uh, Sydney's just, uh, it's a long trip, but it's, uh, it's, an, it's an incredible, I wouldn't want to live there, it's very expensive, but it's an incredible place to visit.
So growing up, did you ever think you'd have that opportunity like to travel? I, you know, I didn't discount it. I think uh, if you put it out of your mind because you think you can never afford it, never be smart enough or whatever, it'll never happen. Yeah. So I always just was taught uh, to leave my mind open and uh, just, uh, and I mean, really what it is is um, I, I think I was uh, led by God to do certain things and uh, blessed, uh, but now he expects a whole lot of me. <laughs> I can feel that too. So, uh, as much as I'm given. Gi I'm giving well. back, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. All right, so our last question. So if there's one piece of advice you could um, leave for the listeners, what would it be? Uh, fill your time uh, with uh, every moment uh, with your family, your friends, uh, helping others. Uh, don't let uh, time go by uh, without educating yourself. Uh, I think that's a lifelong thing. You should uh, be constantly trying to learn and educate yourself. Um, it uh, should be a lifelong process, just discovering what your gifts and talents are and then developing them and putting them to good use. Uh, it's why we're here, I think. And uh, uh, the hardest one is to be yourself and also be kind. Because those two don't, <laughs> those two don't always <laughs> mix. They, they don't mix. <laughs> so true. Yeah. yeah, that's great. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. All right, so. thanks, Tom. All right, thank you.